This is what's come to be known as a domino joint. A squarish biscuit fits in two oblong slots and holds two boards together. It has the same strength as a mortise and tenon, and you can use it in tight spaces where an ordinary biscuit just won't work. It's made with an ingenious power tool that works like a biscuit joiner, cuts like a router, and costs over $1,000 US. But 40 years ago, this was known as a loose tenon joint, and it was made with an ordinary hand drill and a simple little jig that is still sold today for between $30 and $70. It's amazing what you can charge for something when you give it a sexy name. Ow. This is a self-centering doweling jig. It's available at hardware stores, home centers, online. I've put a link in the description. It's made to create doweling joints like these. And it comes with interchangeable drilling guides so that you can use it with quarter inch up to half inch in diameter dowels. That's uh, six millimeters up to 13 millimeters for those of you who don't share the same preoccupation with fractions that I do. And it's wonderfully accurate in both imperial and metric. Just mark where you want the dowels on the adjoining boards, line up the jig with the marks on each board and drill two holes. The dowels will line up perfectly every time. But this jig will do more than just poke two holes. You can cut slots between these holes and the slots will line up just as accurately as the dowels. Mark where you want the holes that will mark the beginning and the end of each slot. It helps to know the exact distance between the two holes in your jig from center to center. Drill the holes with an ordinary twist bit. I find a bit with a low angle point about 118 degrees and a short spiral around 36 degrees works best. Use the stop collar to control the depth if you need to. Loosen the jig and move it about half the diameter of the hole to the right or left. Drill another hole to remove some of the stock between the end holes. Repeat until you have roughed out a slot between the two end holes. Remove the jig and place the drill bit in one of the end holes. Turn it on and angle it back and forth letting the flutes cut and smooth the sides of the slot. Move the drill to the other end hole and repeat. Now we have two matching slots. So what do we do for the domino? Well, it's very simple. The thickness has to be equal to the diameter of the drill bit. The length is equal to twice the depth of the slots. And the width is equal to the distance between the two holes center to center plus the diameter of the drill bit. Don't worry if that went by too fast. Travis is putting up a cheat sheet. You can make a screen grab or just use a ruler. After you cut the dominoes to size, round the corners along the length so that they will match the rounded ends of the slots. I'm doing that with a little palm plane because I'm too lazy to walk over to the sander. You could also use a router and a roundover bit a rasp, a scraper, even a block of wood and some sandpaper. You know, you could also do it with an old combination plane and a nosing bit, but these things now cost as much as a domino joiner. Now I want you to notice that I made this domino with just a little bit of slop. That gives me some wiggle room when I go to glue this thing together. Haha, <laughs> there you go. One loose domino tenon thingy. And the best thing about it, is I didn't have to take out a second mortgage.